Uh, Teresa, first Premier's plate was 10 years ago. 10 year wait. Now you've got your second, uh, and the club's third. What, yes. is, what is the emotions like at the minute? Uh, I'm just over, moon, over the moon for this group of, of uh, such a young team. and. Uh, we've worked so hard all season and to, you know, come out and perform like that tonight, uh, I was proud either way. Coming off a long trip to Canberra mm. just a few days ago yeah, and yeah. a, a nil-nil draw and then three weeks before that without oh, a game as well, yeah, yeah. to come here and to put in that performance against probably the next best team in the, in the comp, how does that uh, rate in, in your achievement? Look, we, we did have a long break and, um, you know, it was a tough game against Canberra with a quick turnaround. So. Uh, we, we knew we had to fix a few things on the training pitch and we tweaked a few things and as you saw tonight, we can't be happier with, with the performance and that's the main thing heading into finals. So happy to take some silverware home now, but the, uh, the next big thing's waiting for us, I think. And just on your performance tonight, uh, that goal was pretty special. Where does that rank in your career highlights? <laughs> it's up there for sure. I, um, I keep forgetting that I scored, but no, I, I, it's taken, what, 12 games to get an opportunity like that. So um, I've been trying to practice at training and they haven't been too good. So I'm just glad it hit the back of the net tonight. Did you know what you were going to do when, when you got the got the free kick? <laughs> yeah, look, I've literally been practicing from that spot at training. The girls laugh at me when I miss most of the time. So, um, no, I just tried to zone in. Uh, I, was, I was just staring at the ball pretty much the whole time. And it felt good when it came off my foot and I looked up and it was in. So I'm over the moon. Still a fair bit of work to do oh, after absolutely. that as well, but yeah. um, kept on creating chances. Yeah, yeah, look, we knew they were going to throw everything at us. Uh, they're a fantastic team, um, but I just think we, we were up to it tonight and that's great for us heading into to finals. And what about uh, young Princess Abini oh. stepping up? A uh, bit of pressure on her. For How that about penalty. that? How about that? So calm and collected and for her to be able to do that, it's just she just shows maturity well beyond her years, so I'm, I'm happy for her as well. And lifting that Premier's plate at the end, what, what did that feel like? Oh, emotion like? Hard to describe, but it's it's 10 years of, of really hard work and uh, I'm just, I'm mostly happy for this group because they, they really deserve it. Uh, from day one, they've worked super hard and it's just a joy to share it with them. Would you have thought that at the start of the season with, with such a young group of girls mm. to, to perform so well and to do so well and to, to finish top? To be honest, we, we did speak about it. It was a goal in mind, uh, but actioning that goal is another thing. And, uh, you know, for these young girls to be able to do that is just, it's, it, this will be spoken about forever. How do you get them back on track now then for, for, for the finals? I think it's important to let them enjoy, you know, what they've just achieved tonight. And then I think tomorrow it's back to recovery training Friday and you know what we got to get our heads right for, for the big semi.